Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Analysis. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in today's video we are going to look at uh, uh, some of the analysis. Uh, the, the reason because uh, for posting today's video is because uh, tomorrow the Federal Reserve is uh, releasing information uh, about the decision they are making on uh, interest rates. So I thought uh, it will be a good day to make an analysis and uh, update the analysis that I did on weekend. So in the today's video we are going to look at the British pound, euro and dollar index and in the later half we are going to look at gold and silver and uh, gold and silver mining companies uh, GDXJ and GDX itself. Uh, so let's start. Uh, right in front of you is uh, British pound USD uh, player. Before we can go on look at the hourly chart or a 15 minute chart uh, we need to look where we are coming from on a larger time frame analysis. So just a glimpse of the chart will help you see uh, where we are uh, going in a large time frame analysis. Uh, we have a beautiful 5 wave structure from the major uh, bottom that we have seen in the British pound. This is the 5 wave structure followed by I believe that we are going to see a 3 wave structure which is wave A is completed right now and wave B is close to the completion and after that we are expecting a larger swing on the bearish side that should complete a flat correction. Um, wave B is a bit complicated we can look into the wave B as well I believe that we are uh, completing a double zigzag pattern uh, within wave B so I believe that we have a five wave structure followed by a correction and another third wave so A B C structure and then we have a zigzag in here and then we have another A B C structure which is wave A right over here wave B right over here and then wave C is going on we have completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 I believe are also complete and right now we are ending looking in the wave uh, wave 5 of wave C of the double zigzag structure. <coughs> so let's have a look on the 15 minute chart. Um, any day now we are getting close to the uh, completion of the 15 minute chart the move uh, which is not uh, much of it is left right now but <coughs> still tradable though. So here's the hourly chart I believe that we have completed wave 1 of the 5 wave structure the last wave that we have right over here from this bottom and we have completed the wave 1 and I believe that we are going through right now wave 2. Uh, and as wave 2 as soon as wave 2 gets completed then we are going to look for a sharper wave on the bullish side followed by a correction then another wave that shall complete the five wave structure that actually started from over here and then we will turn on the bearish side if you look closely we have cl uh, done eight divisions of the previous wave we have smaller five wave structure here as well clearly subdivisible five wave structure so i believe that the bearish move is yet not open we all uh, then we have dropped already about 37.5% of the previous move uh, and then re right now you guys can, can see the prices came up and jumped up and finding support uh, within the st uh, structure. So I believe that prices are going to come down find a support at 50% of the previous move and then we can expect the prices to jump up uh, and then followed by a correction and then another move on the upside. So we are bullish I'm going to wait for a proper entry in British pound. I'm not going to trade the market because the larger swing is still on the bullish. I'm not going to steal that movement in case some other pattern happens uh, I don't want to make a wrong decision just because I'm looking at it as a structure that we actually started from over here. So I'm considering that structure start from over here is wave A and wave B and a 5 wave structure smaller wave 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and but still as I said I do not want to make a decision. Maybe a possibility that we have actually completed the top over here and then we can actually go and form something like this as well. That's also a possibility. Uh, but still I think 50% if prices drop to 50% that will be a good entry point uh, in order to uh, get the price in, in order to join the trend on the bullish side. Let's have a look at Euro. Euro on the daily time frame is exactly same analysis so I'm not going to show you the, the daily chart. Uh, rather we are just looking at a 15 minute chart that we have uh, or hourly chart that we have here. So we are once again on smaller time frame. We I believe that we have completed the uh, structure, the 5 wave structure. Uh, smaller degree 5 wave structure. So let me quickly do uh, labeling starting from this bottom. So this is start of the structure and this is wave 1 and I believe wave 2 is yet not complete and wave 3 is going to be a stronger wave 4 and then wave 5. So this is a, mm, a, a bit higher degree wave not a minuscule, minuscule uh, but sub micro we can say it. Okay. So uh, I believe that if you look at the drop from the previous uh, range price range is only 25% while in British pound we have seen 37.5% drop and then prices jumped up uh, to retest the 25% here it's 
retesting the 12.5 percent and i believe another wave, um, wave on the bear side is expected to happen before we can actually see the prices to go up so once again prices are expected to find support over here i'm not going to trade on the bear side just want to see where the structure ends in case something else is happening uh, so uh, the here we can see the top is over here so we can consider this as a a b and a c structure so we're expecting for the prices to drop uh, before we can actually join the trend so that's what we are going to do we want to uh, not trade the correction but we want actually trade with the swing uh, with the trade uh, with the main trend right over here so we're going to wait for the prices i personally going to wait for the prices to drop and then join the trend on the bullish side uh, and once again we are expecting a stronger move correction and the move on the upside uh, probably a couple of days two to three days we expect to be done with the the top and then a larger move on the bearish side is expected that's the uh, US dollar uh, that's uh, British pound and euro and then almost a similar pattern on the upside down is happening in uh, um, in uh, DXY as well so if you want to see once again the how much of the analysis is left uh, how much of the price structure is left uh, I mean how much where the support is expected we can simply uh, drop the A division from the top uh, right over here when once again we can see uh, that almost 37.5 percent uh, sorry yeah 37.5 percent is happening right over here already and then there is a possibility that we are expecting for the prices to go up however we can see the prices has not found support right over here all right normally in euro we have found a support at 25 percent but in dxy we are not finding that support over here so let's have a look maybe there's another nine division are working out so uh no nine division is not working out so we got wait for the correction i think there is a possibility the price is going to go up and create a support at 50 percent and and then we can expect for the prices to come down is also a possibility that we have probably seen the the top right over here in that case the sideways structure is going to happen price is going to happen uh, do this and uh, before we can head downward this is wave one and this is wave two uh, so this is an extended wave one and uh, followed by two a larger wave three uh, followed by wave four and five all right so let me delete that and we can use this structure that once again that we can say that this is a flat correction pardon me I've done a mistake uh, let's bring this over here so once we get wave 2 we're going to see a stronger wave wave 3 4 and 5 that should complete and after, as soon as that is complete we are expecting the turn on the bear bullish side okay it's just the same chart on the opposite direction no much no much difference uh, now let's go back to um, the later part uh, of the video and that is our miners video we're gonna look at how the miners are how gold and silver are doing uh, we have a gold and silver and then we are look at uh, GDX and GDXJ okay so let's go at G and gold first of all on the weekend uh, I came with the uh, analysis and it was pretty strong analysis uh, I'm expecting a larger move on the bearish side in gold and silver let's discuss that and then we look at a smaller time frame analysis as well so in my previous analysis I um, told you guys that we have completed uh, a 5 wave structure at this top right over here and I'm expecting that this structure that actually started from over here is yet not complete and hence the bearish outlook all right i'm considering this as a three wave structure followed by another three wave structure which is a zigzag the first wave is this is a flat correction and i'm expecting that we are going to see a five wave structure on the bearish side so the larger pattern becomes a flat correction a zigzag correction followed by a five wave structure on the bearish side so uh, we are expecting a f an expanded flat on the bearish side i'm a point of the view that we are going to see a sharper move on the downside approximately about 300 dollars drop that is significant drop and I think that when that drop happened uh, or if that drop happened it's going to be a, a major buying opportunity uh, for gold bulls uh, plus it will also take weaker hands out of the market dropping a $300 uh, in a shorter period of time it will definitely going to take a lot of people out of the market almost 20% drop in some of the miners uh, gold and silver but so 20% drop in a short period of time is is definitely a lot surprising uh, we can look that we have seen almost done two days of trading 
uh, in last um, since the start of the week and we can see that prices has come down and it kind of retesting the middle line right over here all right it's not exactly uh, a pinpoint accuracy but I believe that prices are not expected to go beyond uh, 2589 still I would think a higher tar price target for a stop loss is the top of this uh, band that we have over here so a top of the band is somewhere around uh, right over here is at this point on this hour is uh, 2635 okay which is about uh, 25 and 35 60 dollars away and if you have a 300 drop expected it's not it's not much away okay let's have a look on a 15 minute chart and I want to show you a couple of things um, so this is what we have done since uh, this is what exactly we have done in uh, since the start of the week okay prices have come down we have seen a lot of accumulation uh, and now we are expecting that prices will continue on the bearish side as well so this point is important on its own the second point that here is the top uh, which is 2630 is an important point so I would not put my stop loss beyond 2630 for the bearish move in case we have not been able to uh, see uh, or recognize the patterns correctly so I'm still bearish on it the smaller wave is a little too messy to make a decision on anything that what this pattern is that I'm talking about as for decision is concerned I am uh, accurately uh, and uh, decisively bearish on gold and silver both so let's have a look on silver so here's the silver chart and so uh, once again we have created the top right over here for silver we are expecting on a daily move that and the previous high can be used as a stop loss we, and which is not a way so the previous high on a daily time frame is right here from $31.70 right over here this can be used as a stop loss on the bearish side we are expecting a larger move on the bearish side in silver toward 24 ish dollar before we can continue so a lot of people are going to probably wiped away uh, from their bull positions because of the closer stop loss because we have an important stop loss right over here and price enters below this territory that's definitely going to be challenging for a lot of people but it's going to be a golden opportunity and let's see how things go uh, let's have a look at GDX um, I've already mentioned that I've taken my first uh, puts um, first option trade that we have I've uh, bought a put position uh, in GDX and I'm expecting for the prices to drop all the way right over here uh, to the support area if you look at it the drop is expected to be around 19 percent from the top uh, 19 20 percent so I'm bearish once the prices get support over here we are definitely going to see interesting a lot of money or a lot of volume come in gold junior has a move uh, a lot of gold juniors haven't created uh, the bottom um, before they can start to go up so there's that's the time probably we'll see a bottom finally happening in uh, lots of gold juniors that have not actually uh, started a bullish run yet so let's have a look at GDXJ and once again I wanted to confirm that I'm bearish on GDXJ as well I'm expecting for the prices uh, to drop to back to the support area and once that happened then lots of uh, miners uh, I mean small degree uh, uh, junior miners are going to creating the in bottom and then we'll start seeing a lot of volume coming into the market as well uh, just because we have a larger bearish swing on gold I mean a larger bearish swing on euro and British pound and the basket currency in general against US dollar and Japanese yen is a bit different we'll uh, look at it uh, in future if you can so wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye